Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom edition video. This time we are doing it mobily and it's brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. And if you haven't checked out the 30 for 30, you can go over to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download all of the raw files we're playing with, including the one that is in my hand right now. That's right, I have Lightroom Mobile on my iPhone and I'm editing this monkey photo. Now it's different because it's much smaller, but I'm gonna see what we can do right here and see how we can edit this file. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make it slightly larger just so that I can see the main part of the image that I wanna edit. Let's start with, now we have a lot of the features from, the, from Lightroom already on here. I'm gonna start with exposure. Pull back a little bit, pull up a little bit. You can see what's happening. And by the way, a quick tip for how you can get it back to zero or get it back to where you started, boom. Just double tap right on the exposure or whatever you want to make it change to, or sorry, whatever you want to change, you can do that. I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit. Contrast. Boomify my contrast even here on the mobile. Highlights I want to bring back. See that? Just bringing it back a little bit. Don't want to play with shadows right now, but I actually want to bring my exposure back down a little bit. Boom. I don't want to do auto-tune. I don't want to do, let's see, tint. Nah, we don't want to green. We don't want it to be magenta. Boom. Double tap it, get it back to where I wanted. We've got the temperature. We can make it colder. We can make it warmer. I want to make it a little bit warmer. Go right there. I think that looks good. What else do we have here? We've got our shadows. Let's see what happens. Again, cause and effect. The cool thing about when you are using your iPhone or whatever mobile device is that you're doing your edits with, you could edit on the train, you could do something like that, and it's gonna sync back to your computer at home so you have the quick edits here or your final edits, or you could edit here and send it out into the world right from your phone, which is powerful right there in your hands. White, let's see, clarity, boom, let's go. All the way up, nope, not gonna do it. Don't like that one. Just a little bit, we'll split the difference there. Vibrance and saturation. Same thing as you would have on your computer. Pull back on the vibrance, that's actually not that bad. You know what, I'm gonna make this a little larger again. Go up with my vibrance. And by the way, I discovered something. If you do a two finger tap, I can see that how this photo was taken, which is pretty cool. Tap again, you can get your histogram. If you like looking at that, you even have it here in mobile. Pretty powerful what you have here. Let's see, saturation. Yeah, we don't want that too saturated. I'm gonna go with that. Let's see what else we have over here. Hitting that icon, we have basic, oh, it's called the basic icon. Tone curve, vignetting, split tone color. Ooh, dehaze filter. We have the dehaze. That's adding, that's getting rid of haze. And here we're gonna punch it up even more. I like that. Where did it start? So this is 20. Uh, go up a little bit. And I'm gonna go back here because I wanna change my white balance. White balance, temperatures right there. I'm gonna pull back, I don't want it as yellow. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's see what this looks like full screen by going ahead and tapping it once. Ooh, that looks good. Full screen, ah, I love that. Now I can see the whole thing. And I can still make my edits full screen, which is nice. Sweet, we've got that. Go here, what else do we have to play with? Vignetting, how much of that? Ooh. Oh, I don't want any vignetting. Goodbye vignetting. Look, this is pretty simple. Get back into the basic edits. You can see all of the different edits that we have. I could also hold right here. I could copy the settings. I could tap up here on the right and I can copy it. Uh, I can share it out into the world or I can undo. That's what that thingy mabobber means right up here in the top right corner. You could undo it. I want this to be a little more contrasty, boom contrasty. That is a cool photo. I like the way that looks. And if you want to try editing this file yourself, whether it's on your iPhone, iPad, any other device, or on your computer in Lightroom, go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download this DNG as well as all of the other ones that we have up there for this 30 for 30 Lightroom edition. And you can also get a free trial of Lightroom while you're there. And that is where we'll leave it. Jared Poland, Photo. Dot com. See ya.